some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a father-son sovereign citizen combo that most certainly drank the Kool-Aid. And they face down a no-nonsense officer who knows they don't have the right to break the laws. Oh yeah, stick around for the ending because that is going to be pretty interesting. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh. Trooper Carter Step Crow got your license. Um, yeah, what, what what went wrong? Your your tag back here when you went by me, no steak popped up on it. Oh, okay. all right. Just so, getting all of your stuff. Um, this is my identification. I want you to look this over. Mm -hmm. This is an affidavit of truth and facts that uh, is notarized and is signed under penalty of perjury. Before you uh, do any writing of citations or anything, I need you to look over this truth of facts. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you do. I'll write me a ticket or a citation. I want to let you know that there is a fee schedule to every right that you violate. Ah, yes. The fee schedule. That's one way you know you're dealing with the soft hard when they bring that thing out. You know what? I think it's probably a big joke behind the scenes with the officers as well. I'm sure they've got war stories that go back and say, Oh, I remember this one time this Sovtard decided to charge me 10,000 silver coins because I pulled them over. But you know what? Nobody's going to pay that. I'm a private citizen. This vehicle is placed in a trust, and the UCC and common law both acknowledge that trust law is above the UCC Admiral Maritime statutory jurisdiction, which you guys are under. So I want you to look over this information here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit he just spouted out. The Uniform Commercial Code is pretty much a guideline of how people run businesses today. It has nothing to do with traffic laws. Or for that matter, most every law in the book has nothing to do with. Um, do you have anything for your for the registration? It's all inside that. It's all inside that. You, you, need need look, you look that over, you need to talk to your dispatch and let them know because I don't want this going anywhere where it shouldn't. The uh all the you need to, all that information. The registration, just, everything's in there. Did, did you read this, read this over? No, I don't need to read that. Yeah, you yeah, do yes, need, you actually do need to read that, sir. Boy. How's it going? All right, I understand you said it's through a trust, but is it going to come back through any of the 50 states if I was to run the registration? Under the no, 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 it's not. It's not, so registered. It's not registered with the state. It's, it's completely 100% private. Yep. No state registration at all. So it's going to be strictly under the trust? That's right. We're, we're travelers. Well, the two of you can travel your happy asses back to whatever cesspool you spawned from, but as long as you travel the public highways and other roads within the United States, you're going to need a driver's license and tag and everything else like that, just like everybody else does in the United States. So, yeah, I understand that. Hang tight, okay? All righty. That's it. Yes, sir. Grab your, uh, grab that right there and step back here with me so we can figure this thing out. All right, well, he don't have to step out of the car. You take whatever you need, but he's not getting out of the car. You can read yeah, this. Is not, no, we, not, I, I, don't, I don't feel, he's my son. I don't feel safe with him no, getting sir. out of the vehicle because we are protected inside our conveyance. I understand, but I'm not on the side of the road. The only thing I'm asking him to do yeah. is grab his and Just write us a citation so we can go. We don't mind well, taking well, a ticket. The thing. I can't just write a citation and let you go. That's what I'm trying to verify. Because we didn't commit no crime. Oh, okay. Listen. We we reserve all of our rights under UCC 1-308. All right, so we are we are private citizens, and you pulled us over for what? You know, if you would have just pulled your head out of your ass and cleaned the shit out, you would have heard that he pulled you over for bad a bad registration. You know they could tow your car for that, right? We're going 60 miles an hour. I got a dash cam. I have all I that. Never said, I, need no, sir, I never said it was your speed. It's the registration. But yeah, you, yeah. What's wrong with the registration? Yeah. I don't have to. Have you don't have to be contracted. I don't have to have a contract with the U.S. Dot dot corporation. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not a 14th Amendment citizen. Is insurance or anything inside this? I am. Yes. Private, I am yeah, we have insured. we have insurance, but that's everything beside the point. Everything is in here. I'm privately insured through my cesicated trust. Okay, will you grab it? Come back here. Show me the. Uh, no, I can. I am not stepping out, and I'm going to roll this window up a little bit here. Just fill out. Fill out whatever you need to fill out. You we'll, can, we'll take a ticket. Here's the thing. I just need to verify. What do you need to verify? Why do you need him to step outside of the car to verify it?
Well, one, it's a safety hazard for the uh, officer to stand in the middle of the highway, you dumb piece of shit. And it's a lawful order, so get to stepping. Right here. You can talk to him right here. I can hear you right Yeah, here. we're fine. Just talk to us right here and tell us whatever you need. We don't need, you don't need to get out of the car. Now it's a lawful order that I'm asking him to step out. You okay. unlawfully pulled me over. Right. I'm just, I'm lawfully asking you to step out of the vehicle. Okay? Why, but why do you want him to step out of the vehicle? So I can talk to him in you can, front of my you can, camera you can, to verify the No, you have, no, we got a camera right here. Yeah, that's all it is. No, you can talk to me right I here. Just, I don't feel comfortable do you, with him. Just for our protection. I'm trying I, to do this the best I can. It is very simple. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and... Jay, nah, Jay, nah, no, no, no. Go ahead and do what he's saying because no we, we already got him on several violations. There's no way I'm No, go that. ahead. No, go ahead and step out because otherwise they're going to arrest you. So go ahead and get out. Take the book. Well, now it's about time this uh, soft tart of a father decided to give some fatherly advice except for the book. Part. Uh, the officer doesn't need to see that. No, I'm way. gonna step outside and video it just just for your safety. Step inside the vehicle. Huh? Okay. No, let me let All me. Right, take we'll take your phone, phone with you. All take right. your phone. And I'll get my phone. This is just step outside. It's fine because if they arrest you, it's it's look. Just go ahead and follow Dude. follow their orders. Do do what they want you to do. All right. All right. That All right. way you're not resisting right. anything. Oh, that's my pen. Sorry, bro. <sighs> I'll, I'm gonna step right in. All right. He said you do have insurance. Can you just flip the notebook over and show me this? Yes. All I need is our insurance policy right there. Just tell me something. No, just just because just because of the road. That's all. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't get over the blue lights. We don't want you to get run over. You know, we, I appreciate that's that. That's the only thing to do. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to exercise my rights. Yeah, I would suggest that you actually learn what your rights are before you start exercising them and uh, learn the differences between rights and privileges because if you don't, that could end up with you being hauled away in handcuffs. Although some of my viewers might just love that image anyway, so let's carry on. Yeah, I was, try I was trying to get him to read that affidavit of truth and facts. I don't know if that's yeah. something you want to look over, but... I mean, this is a very serious document. Right okay. Yes, I mean, I, we have this signed under uh, the penalty of perjury. We have it notarized. I mean, this is very powerful information that I encouraged him to read beforehand, but he just didn't really want to do it. It's not that he didn't want to read it. He just doesn't have time to read your mindless gibberish. Yeah, he... And you got to understand, you know, I mean, he don't want to divert his attention away from what's going on. You know, he's only one person. Y'all are two people. He don't know right. y'all and y'all don't know him. You know, I understand He's just doing that. his job. You know? Right. But yeah, I understand. I've read something like that before, once before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, I it's, think the guy was from Pennsylvania when I was looking at It's really powerful information. Ba basically, in short, we don't have any contracts with the U.S. Corporation, which puts us outside of right. your guys' right. jurisdiction. Right. And yet you paint chip eaters still end up paying the ticket or going to court or um, going to jail for failure to appear. You know what? It sounds like you are actually under their jurisdiction. It's just that you're too brainless to see that fact. And that's why we don't have a registration, because by registering your vehicle, you're putting your vehicle into a trust agreement mm -hmm. with the U.S. Corporation and its trust law. And what you're doing is you are now making the U.S. Corporation the beneficiary of that vehicle and you're the trustee, which means the state owns it and you just have to take care of it and pay all the bills and everything. Same with your house. When you own a house and you have a deed, a deed's a colored title. Colored is, uh, and is in this and legally language, colored is fiat. You have the Federal Reserve notes, promissory notes, colored money. It's fake money. So they give you these deeds, which is a fake, uh, a fake contract with your uh, house, and they they tell you that you own it. When in reality, that deed is making the state the beneficiary and you're the trustee so you have to pay all the bills and you have to do all the expenses well when it comes down to uh the court you don't own it so when the united states goes bankrupt which they do i think it's every 70 years huh the u.s goes bankrupt every seven years uh can you provide a citation for that and not something that's going to require me to eat a thousand pounds of uh paint chips uh for me to understand I think they just went bankrupt in 1999, um, but once they go bankrupt, they can literally take everyone's assets. 
their cars, their houses, all that. When the cabal comes down and, and takes over this place because we're in so much debt. I'm 60 Dude, years old and I've never seen that. I'm, it's, it's really powerful information. Man, it's yeah, but so, I mean, you talk about the when you going bankrupt. You take, oh, you take oh, you're talking about that. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you're now, talking about I'm, when the government. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Saying that hasn't happened yet. Okay, let me see if I could follow this. Uh, these bankruptcies take place every seven years, and the government takes everything away from you: your car, your home, everything like that. And the last one took place in 1999. Okay, I was 19 years old at that time. I just bought my first car, which was a 1987 Chevy Camaro. It's funny because I don't remember the government taking away my car. And I certainly don't remember the government taking away my house or my dad's uh, 97 Ford Escort. So I don't exactly know what universe you come from. So let's, let's just leave it at that, okay? But... Uh, they took her gold away in 1933, and that's been, that's been about a hundred years now. They got that stuff going. That's how they create the promissory notes in the Federal Reserve. But yeah, that was just, that's just a little bit of the law. That's that's kind of where I'm coming from with this. I had the vehicles placed in a trust, and the UCC and the common law both acknowledge that trust law is above the UCC Admiral Maritime Statutory but, Jurisdiction. But, but by law, it's supposed to be registered. To either you or whoever. Right, the UCC the code. Right. Yeah, the UCC code. Right. Sir, you a Fourteenth Amendment citizens only are the ones that have to re uh, register. Close the door. Get back in the car, sir. We're not Fourteenth. Close Amendment. the door. Get back in the yeah. car, sir. It's great that that officer just shut that uh, Father of the Year figure to right down because you know he's trying to educate him on the stuff that well his father failed him on because all this stuff that he's spouting off is a load of garbage i don't place any blame on this kid whatsoever he got this from his father and it's unfortunate that he's gonna have to live with this idiocy for the rest of his life what are you, what are you saying was we're not a 14th amendment citizen so you have a con uh, contract as a police officer working with the United States Corporation. So you're considered a 14th Amendment citizen. We're not a 14th Amendment citizen, but private citizen. Is so that your of yours or that's my fa that's my father. That's your father? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's unique information. I'm sorry, what is your name? Jaden. Jaden? Jody. Nice to meet you. Nice Jody. to meet you. Let's turn you loose because we're going to work a fatal crash, okay? Oh. I understand your expression, your rights, whatever, whatever. The traveling stuff you may do, sovereign citizen stuff, that's you. All right. I'm not sovereign. Yeah. Okay, well, just understand um, laws do apply to you, okay? We are 10 for both. I can stroke you a couple tickets just because I'm not doing it, don't mean the next person down the road won't do it that you run into, okay? I just have other stuff I have to do rather than mess with this right now. Well, it's okay. fine if you were to write me a ticket, I would conditionally accept it, and then I would be sending affidavits and conditional acceptances to you, the court, and the clerk, and I would shut down your county. Did you really just say that? Because this officer was just about to let you off the hook with the, just a warning, and here you are threatening to sue him and threatening to shut down the county over this. What question? How stupid are you? I'm just saying that's that's why you don't want to. I'll conditionally accept any citations, but that's dangerous. That's why we have the affidavit and all that information in there. You can, but nobody will listen, right? <laughs> Ain't it? Is he really about to write one now just because I said that? No, I doubt very seriously he's going to do that. He's just taking one or another. Oh, checking, I, one other I wasn't trying to be mean. He told mean. you he wasn't writing the ticket. Oh, yeah, no. No, I wasn't trying to be no, mean. I was letting him know. He's not that kind of person. No, oh, so okay. Not, we're not. We're I was not about to say, person. shoot, if we got to do that, I don't want that to happen. No, no. He was making sure that there was in insurance and all the paperwork was properly, was proper on the vehicle. Um, right. And if it wasn't, he would tow the vehicle. And right here, well, you can't tow it because it's not registered. You can't tow a vehicle we that's can. not registered. We can't. That's you. That's we, the UCC. Can. You can, but uh, this is actually let's, the. Let's, let's, Jake, listen to me. We can't. Okay. How old are you? I'm 19 years old. I've been doing this 35 years. Okay. I'm, yeah. Long for a I've been doing this 35 years. I'm not gonna lie to you. We can't. Um. Yeah. 35 year veteran of the force, 
or a 19-year-old child. Who are you going to side with? That is, well, a very tough choice, but I'm going to have to go with the 35-year veteran. But what you were just telling me about a while ago about, uh, about the breaks and everything and about the laws and stuff and your trust, 10-4, why did you go and spend the money that you said is fake to buy the vehicle? Ah, uh, what do you mean? You told me that all the money's fake, like when the house and the car and you don't register it and everything else. How, right. how come you went and bought the vehicle if what you're saying is like that is true? Uh, what I did was I created a debt and I canceled the debt with a promissory you note. Created the debt and canceled the debt. Yeah, that's through my fraudulent money. Through my well, that's how it works. Oh no, that's not how it works. You don't take out a car loan and then can't try to cancel it with the promissory note. That is fraud. And you know what you just did? You just snitched out your father for fraud. Congratulations. You are an idiot. You and your father. That work? You, you, you have to... Uh, it's so a, what about the IRS? Would the IRS? Would the IRS have anything to say about that? About you creating an account and the debt and then canceling it? Well, actually, the IRS... Or is, it, or, or is the vehicle paid off? Did you pay the vehicle off it, and then... Is that what you talk about canceling it? No, no, it's, it's, I, uh, it's hard to explain to someone that doesn't, that, like, actually fully understand I'm, I consider it, myself a pretty broad individual. Um, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a question you haven't answered yet. I'm, I'm just curious. What was the question? The question is, is what would the IRS say about you creating a debt and then canceling the debt? Did you pay the vehicle off that way? Or did you just buy the vehicle and say, hey, I'm not paying for this vehicle anymore and just not pay for it? No, I wouldn't do that. Dude, you just admitted to it. Uh, what I did was I created a debt and I canceled the debt with a promissory you note. Created a debt. Okay. No, well, I would. I'm, 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 I'm curious about how. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to do that. No, no. Well, well, you, you, you're telling me that the, that uh, bills and everything are fraudulent, and the government is here to screw us and everything. And if I buy a house, I'm paying it with fake money, and the government's trying to take everything that I own, and the government goes bankrupt every seven years, is what you said. Seventy. Ever 70 years. Okay. Yeah, I believe so, it's, I, I don't call me on that, but I believe it's ever 70. Okay, ever 70 years. I believe so. You said seven years a while ago. Uh, no, told, the United told, States is 70. I told you I was 60 years old and I haven't seen anything like that. So my question still stands is 70. when you create a debt and you cancel that debt, what does the IRS say about that? Uh, well, they wouldn't say anything because when you buy a vehicle that's creating a debt. Correct. And then canceling a debt is paying off the so the vehicle's paid off right i don't owe anything on this vehicle so you didn't we don't owe anything on this vehicle you paid it off free and clear you didn't go and buy put a down payment on the vehicle for ten thousand dollars and drive off said i'm not paying you anymore <laughs> no i didn't do that okay. just curious just ask right okay you're only 19 years old which means the debt can't be that old which basically means it hasn't caught up with you yet but it will. Um, well, I'm just letting you I can get you out of here, okay? Alrighty. Citation um, right. solicited for 40 dash right. 2 dash 41, okay? It's for improper tag display just because the registration is not fixed to the real vehicle. All right. All right. Court date February the 20th. This is how you get in touch with the courts. All right, that's the phone number you can call. All right, there's a piece of paper that I need you to sign to submit as evidence to the court. Anything, okay? Well, you need to submit it for well, evidence to the court, and if I'm you don't, that's... Anything. You said you're going to subpoena and do all your stuff. That's fine. The court can get in touch. Right, well, the affidavit of truth and fact states that you have here. to. It's not a mission of guilt. It's just stating you understand the ticket right here, and you know what to do with it, okay? All righty. I call, I call the All right, this is your copy here. It's the same exact thing that you just signed. One's just a court copy, one's a violated copy. All right, all righty. Have your driver's license. I appreciate that. Back. Yep. And you got your notebook. Everything yep. in it. I put the other paperwork back inside, okay? You all righty. Everything you need, okay? All righty, I conditionally accept this. When you get pulled over again, not yes. if, but when you get pulled over again for the same thing, for the that citation, okay? Why? Well, you, you'll, you'll get pulled over again because of that tag. I, so yeah, that, I had an officer follow me all the way across Savannah and they never pulled me over. Okay, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about when you get pulled over again. Right. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Well, you gotta love this 19-year-old idiot. He was about to be let off with just a warning, but he talked himself into a ticket and possibly fraud charges later on down the line.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.